Hey everyone, welcome to episode 10, can you believe it, 10 episodes of the No Board SEO video series. This is where I tackle an SEO question for a few minutes, twice a week, without any board, no screencast, just you and I. So today, I'm going to jump right into the topic, and that is pages versus posts in WordPress, and which is better for SEO, which one should you use for SEO purposes. And uh, I, I bring this up because I see this question probably on a weekly basis, at least, uh, in Q&A forums and across the web, and people ask me. So uh, I want to answer it here, and maybe, maybe this video, uh, I have put it in a link somewhere in a, in a future question, or uh, sent it off to you, because I do see this asked a lot, and I'm making this video so just for that purpose, so I can just send it right out and answer that question, because I see it so much. So, uh, pages versus posts, which is better? This is actually not, or should not be an SEO question at all, all right? So, if you're trying to decide if you should use a page or a post, uh, what you need to understand is how they function within WordPress. A page is generally like your static piece of content, like if you are a restaurant, it would be your menu, it would be your about page, it would be... Uh, maybe your contact page. It might be a page of like a photo gallery of the restaurant. Uh, posts are time-based, time-sensitive content, right? Posts go in a blog. Posts, uh, you know, would go in like a, a news area of a website or like, you know, an announcements area of a website. They function totally differently. So you should use pages for like, think of if you were building a website that did not have a blog in it, that did not have news in it, or anything like that, time sensitive. That's what you would use pages for. Posts, you put, you know, for your blog, for news, for announcements, for things like that. Uh, another huge difference is pages cannot belong to a category, or a tag, or an author archive, or a data archive at all. Uh, posts, on the other hand, they can, right? When you, when you create a post, you put it in a category, or maybe a few categories. You put it, you give it a tag. Uh, you uh, have a certain author that wrote that post. That's totally different than pages. Pages you can only get to if you link to them somewhere, like if you put them in your menu, if you link to them from somewhere within the website on purpose. Posts automatically show up on the category archive, or the tag archive, or the author archive, of where those posts belong. So they function in a very different way. Posts also get put into your RSS feed for that blog, or that category, or whatever it may be. Pages do not automatically go into an RSS feed. And lastly, you can set a page to be your home page. Uh, as like, uh, you can go into WordPress and the settings might say, you know, use a static page for the homepage. That's what you can do with a page. You cannot do that with posts. You can set all of your uh, excerpts of your posts to be the homepage. Or you can set a certain category to be your homepage, but you cannot set a single post to be your homepage within WordPress. So, those are two very, are, those are very, very important distinctions between pages and posts and how they function. That's how you should make that decision. Understand how they function and make it a uh, functional, a website, a CMS decision, not an SEO decision. Now, what if you still are wondering how to promote or improve the SEO of your, your posts or your pages? I've got to remember, posts are over here, pages are here get that one on either side. Uh, you would promote these with SEO just like you would any piece of content, right? Uh, make sure that they're keyword research and that you're targeting a specific topic. Make sure that the title, the header, all those things are optimized for those keywords and for clicks when they appear in the search results or when they appear in social media. Uh, make sure that you're making that content really, really useful and valuable. So you're including images, you're breaking up your text, you're including different headers, maybe you're including a video, maybe you're including different graphics. Uh, you're also making sure to promote that content like you would any piece of content. Social media, uh, send it to your friends, 
Uh, if it's uh, content that's a little old, you know, you can always reshare that. Uh, one slight difference I do want to point out between posts and pages for SEO. Posts are going to naturally drop down in your category archives or your blog archive. So what you want to do every once in a while is link from newer posts back down to the older posts every once in a while, all right? Don't go crazy with this. Do it when it's really useful. Do it when the old post might be relevant information to the new post. And so that's basically it. This is a, a, a general CMS decision, not an SEO decision. Lastly, there's a, uh, an article which I'll link to down below that I wrote on the SEOmoz blog about everything about setting up WordPress uh, really well for success with SEO. You should check that out. And so I hope this was helpful. Uh, keep some questions coming if you'd like. And I will see you next time for the next episode of No Board, Ooh, no board SEO. Thanks a lot.